AI will generate a voiceover for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how you can generate ultra realistic, human sounding voiceovers or using artificial intelligence. At the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you guys an ad that contains an AI generated voiceover. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, I am going to use this platform called 11 Labs. Now this is one of the ways that we've implemented artificial intelligence within our ad creation process. And no, this is not a sponsored video. I personally use this within the agency and also for my own personal use when it comes to my YouTube channel. I don't know if anyone's ever noticed, but there's certain pots within my own YouTube videos where it's not my actual voice, it's artificial intelligence. With all of that being said and done, let's jump right into the action. So once you get onto the platform, you will have to sign up. Pretty simple. I just use my Gmail account. And as you can see, I'm in. This is the page that you see once you sign up. And this is where all of the magic happens. But before I jump into this part, let's just quickly talk about the different subscription plans. There is a free version that allows you to generate up to 10,000 characters per month. The free version is pretty decent. Obviously, it does have some limitations. But if it's your first time on this platform, I would recommend just go with the free version, play around, and get used to how it works. I'm currently on the creator plan which gives me around 100,000 characters per month which is roughly the equivalent of two hours of generated audio which for me is more than enough. Now once you've got all of that stuff out of the way you then move on to the speech synthesis tab and this is really where all of the magic happens and as you can already see I've cloned and rotates voice and when you first sign up you're going to be created with all of these pre-made voices. Now if you want to clone someone's voice click on add voice takes you to the library of voice clones that you already have i do have quite a few clones some of them are from celebrities influencers famous people which i personally don't use on promotional content like ads because the last thing i want is to be sued by andrew tate for using his voice in an ad without permission. So make sure you get permission. When it comes to designing or cloning a voice, there's currently two methods to do that. Let's talk about voice design and instant voice cloning. So voice design is essentially a random automated voice from 11 Labs, and most of them do tend to sound a bit robotic, so I don't personally use this. What I do use quite often is the instant voice cloning. And the way this works is you upload samples of voice recordings onto the platform. Now here's the trick with the samples. It's not the length or the quantity, it's more about the quality. So if you have five really good voice recordings of the voice that you wanna clone, that is more than enough. Once you've cloned a voice, then you go back onto the speech synthesis tab and type in whatever you want to type. Click on generate. Type in whatever you want to type in and AI will generate a voiceover for you. And it's really that simple. Now, when it comes to the voice settings, there's obviously stability and clarity. The more stable it is, the more robotic it sounds and the less natural the voiceover tends to be. So I usually keep the stability for most of my voiceovers at around 30 to 50%. Clarity plus similarity is essentially how similar the voice sounds to the actual voice of the person that you're cloning. Again, you don't want to make it too high because it tends to get robotic. I like to keep it anywhere between like 60 to 80, depending on the type of voice that I'm trying to generate. So yeah, sometimes I've also seen like if you type in a text prompt and then you in brackets put in sad, right? It tends to generate voiceovers with that sort of emotion in mind it's not always the case but sometimes i've seen this to work now here's a few tips and tricks when it comes to the actual number of characters try to stick to a limit of 500 characters at a time when generating your voiceovers it just allows the ai to generate the best possible outcome and when it comes to english voiceovers ideally stick to like 11 monolingual v1 it does have like multilingual versions of it as well i've not personally used it but if you have then let me know in the comment section below this is how we use 11 labs to generate ultra realistic human sounding voiceovers for our facebook ads and give it a try let me know in the comment section below if you've ever used 11 labs or if you plan to use 11 labs for your next facebook ad tired of muddy paw prints i've got a solution try 
Paw cleaner. Here's what's been great about it. Easy cleaning. I just add some water and a bit of their recommended shampoo to the cup, put in my dog's paw, and give it a little twist. The soft silicone bristles get the dirt out, and it's so much easier than anything else I've tried. Doesn't bug my dog? That's a big plus for me. They have three sizes to pick from, so it's good for any dog. It's just one of those things that makes dog ownership a little bit easier.